Hello everyone, my name is Mark Florence and I'm with the Southwest Technical College and Solar PV Outlaws. In this video we're going to cover DC to DC converter circuits as found in the 2017 National Electrical Code. Let's get started. In 690.7b1 of the 2017 National Electrical Code, it talks specifically and provides requirements for a single converter. And it states for circuits connected to the output of a single DC to DC converter, the maximum voltage must be the maximum rated voltage output of the DC to DC converter. So if you take a look at this image right here, what we're looking at is, this is a, a spec sheet or a, a portion of a spec sheet from Solar Edge and it's related to their power optimizers. These are the newest models uh, in 2018, 2019 when the newer models came out. And you can see right here across the top, these are the optimizers. So you have a P320, uh, it goes P340, goes on all, all the way up to a P505. These optimizers, each one of these optimizers actually uh, correspond to a different type of module based on the cells, voltages, and so forth. And you can see that information right down here. So for example, the rated input DC power of this module would be 320. That would match up with this P320. And this is for a, uh, a 60 cell module, just kind of a standard module. The higher up we go or the further we go to the right, the higher the uh, power ratings of the module. So this P320 can handle any module uh, wattage wise up to 320 watts and you also want to make sure you understand the the, the voltages the input voltages because you kind of kind of sync all of that up so uh, the higher you go over here the higher uh, we'll be looking at wattage and also typically voltage so what we're talking about this requirement in 697 uh, b1 is it states that if we have a DC to DC converter circuit, I'm just going to call it a converter circuit, and in that circuit we only have one single optimizer. Um, depending on the system, some systems, you know, or depending on the equipment you, you purchase and install, uh, some of them you can match up one converter to one module, others have two modules to one converter, uh, and then based on the inverter it's tied to, they may have a minimum, they'll have typically have a minimum and maximum uh, output, uh, or sorry, a minimum and maximum amount of optimizers or converters that would be uh, connected together. And so what we're saying is if we had a system, and in that system we only had one single optimizer, whatever one or more modules are connected to it, we just have one single optimizer, what we have to do in order to calculate that maximum voltage is that that voltage, as you can see right here, it's going to be the maximum rated voltage output of the DC to DC converter. So if you come down here with Solar Edge and their power optimizers, this is all the input information. It's the information related to the module, what's coming into the converter. This is the information talking about what's going out of the converter. And so we have a couple of different things right here. We have the maximum output current. You can see is at 15 amps. That's not what we're talking about here, but that's where you would find it. And then this other one is the maximum output voltage. And you can see that it has right here, it has 60 volts. So the P320 all the way to that line right there, the P400, the maximum output voltage of this optimizer, any of these four optimizers would be 60 volts. And then if you go up to the next ones, the P405 or the P505, those jump all the way up uh, even higher to 85 volts DC. And so if you had that one single optimizer or converter, uh, as the you know term is called, if you had just one of those in that circuit, the maximum rated voltage would be the output right here. It would be either 60 or 85, depending on what you're using. So that's how you would determine the maximum volt or maximum rated voltage for that circuit uh, in relation to the uh, requirements of the 2017 National Electrical Code. 
Thanks for joining me today. If you found this information to be useful and you'd either like to stay connected or be notified about future videos, please be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and I hope to see you in the future. Thanks.